So let's twist things right up now. I've got the audio that we prepared in the last video using the free warp and I've now added a beat. So I'll play you what we've got so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do things differently in here. I'm going to switch from the Elastic Pro Pitch algorithm onto the Elastic Pro Tape. Now let me just explain what happens here. If we are stretching and we're making it play slower, then what's going to happen is, is the pitch is going to drop. If we're making it play faster, then the pitch is going to go higher. So we're going to have the ability to create a new variation of the music and by default it will have changed already because of the fact that you know we had some sections that were faster that we slowed down and have a listen to see what the result is without us doing anything and that sounds really sinister i'm going to show you what we can do let me pick up this one let's do the same over here. That's creating a really interesting effect that would be very difficult to get under normal circumstances. So we're really twisting stuff up. Let me see how that sounds of the beat. Move this over a bit. So you can see how we could create lots of variations. What I could do is to basically make a copy of this and then treat it differently. So to adjust these different to the original. So we create the variations, but we will need to create a new version. So you're going to do that. And now we've got two separate events treated differently. Let me solo this. You could use a filter. So that becomes a really nice bass texture. Shift the panning over a bit. And then bring the beats. If you wanted to use it as a bass texture, what I would recommend is to do what I'm about to do. And we would take this, we just right click here, and then drag the mouse upwards. So we end up with a mono signal. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just type in here C, because the mouse is not being very accurate at the moment. There we go, and let's have a look. So absolutely tons of creative scope. Just showing you some additional possibilities there. The free warp, this time using the Elastic Pro tape algorithm. You would also get the same effect if you're using either the Formant tape or the Elastic Efficient tape, but with slightly different characteristics.